Hi everyone, it's Benji here at Guitars in the Attic. Today we are in the Gita Workshop. It's a bit of a different location compared to the normal showroom. Uh, today we're going to start a new series, which we're going to call The Vault. We're going to have a look at some of our vintage guitars, some of our one-offs and special editions, give you a bit of history on them, and obviously show you how they sound. So today we're going to have a look, if we go over to this rack, we're going to have a look at this beautiful guitar. The case has seen better days. But that's, that's a case's job. It's a case's job to look after the guitar inside. So if we open this up, inside of this beautiful Gibson case, blanketed Gibson case, I love the blankets in a Gibson case, is a 1988 Gibson U2. So these are pretty cool. Um, they made them between 1987 and 1994. This was sort of Gibson's take on the Super Strat thing happening in the 80s, um, trying to get a one-up over Kramer and Jackson, for example. Uh, it's a really, really good guitar. It's not exactly a traditional Gibson, uh, but it does what it does really well. It sounds awesome. So if we have a good look at it. So this is in Ferrari Red. The serial number is 825-88718. And it's, it's just a great guitar. It's got a little bit of lack checking. We have switches here that activate each pickup so you can turn the humbucker on uh, or two of the single coils on. In the bridge, we also have a coil split in the bridge, the volume. We also have a coil split for the bridge humbucker. Bound body, the body is base wood, the neck is maple and it's got a ebony fretboard. We've got the hockey stick style headstock you usually see on an Explorer. The US, it's the US one is the version of this before it, sort of Gibson Super Strats, that had like a pointy, boxy type headstock. Um, so this definitely is a refined version on that, and obviously you see it on all the uh, Explorers and stuff, so it's one that's a bit more familiar. I think this guitar is amazing, I absolutely love it, plays awesome. Uh, it's very much a Marmite guitar though. Uh, if you go online on forums looking at the US1 and the U2, which is this, uh, a lot of people really, really don't like them, uh, simply because a lot of people are the purest Gibson fans that like the SGs, the Les Pauls, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and they don't like that Gibson sort of, in a way, sold out to fit a hole in the market to try and compete. Uh, but at the same time, it's a really cool guitar. It's very different. You don't say these often. Um, so let's go and see how this thing sounds. So we're back in the Gita showroom. We are here with our trusted 1971 Marshall JMP head. It's an amp that we love here. It's very versatile. It just oozes that classic Marshall tone. Uh, because it is an original 100 watt head, we can't crank it up fully to naturally distort it. So in the front of the amp, we are running a Santa Ana Overdrive and a Marine Layer Reverb, both pedals by Fender. They sound really good for these sort of demos. Uh, they give you a really nice classic tone. It's quite versatile as well. Uh, so now we have the U2 plugged in. We have a Seymour Duncan DCB humbucker in the bridge and two OBL pickups in the middle and next positions. So I'm just gonna play along, uh, see what sounds we can get out of it.
So yeah, that was our 1988 Gibson U2. It's an awesome guitar, oozes that 80s sort of sound and look. It's definitely something different. So if you're after something different, definitely give this a look. Uh, you're welcome to come try it out at our showroom at any time. Uh, so we're going to keep doing stuff like this. The Vault series will expand. We've got quite a few nice guitars that we want to show off, show to you guys, give you some sound demos and stuff like that. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for more videos being posted. And in the meantime, I shall see you next time. I've been Benji with Guitars in the Attic.